Hey, what's going on guys? Jason here, and this is part three of the React Notes project series. So in this video, what I'll be setting up is the deleting of the notes. So whenever I delete, or I'm sorry, whenever I click this delete button, we just want to delete the actual note from here. So let's get into it. All right, so in the last video, uh, or I'm sorry, we're here in the note component, so the note.js file. And in the last video, we set up a uh, click handler to handle the editing of the uh, note here. So whenever we click edit, we sent off this uh, dispatch function, which will basically uh, send off an action that gives it a type of set current note passing in the payload. So we'll be doing something similar to that. Uh, the only difference will be is that we'll actually be deleting that note from our state. So what we'll need to do We'll do an on click here. And then we're going to pass a function. We're going to pass the dispatch function, invoke it, pass it an object. So we'll give this a type of delete note. And for the payload, we'll give it the note ID. So since we're just going to delete a note, all we really need is the actual ID of that note in order to delete it. So we'll do that. All right, that looks good. And uh, now we'll go into our reducer, our reducer function, and we'll give this a case of delete note. And now we will go ahead and delete the actual note. So we'll pass or we'll create a variable. I'll call it const deleted notes. Set that equal to state dot notes dot filter. So we want to filter out. So we just want to get the notes uh, that don't match that specific uh, no ID that we clicked on so for that we'll have to do a filter so we'll this will be a function and we'll pass in note as the uh, parameter argument and then for our condition we'll do note.id so we're getting the notes we're iterating over we're getting its ID and then we're going to check that it is not equal to the action dot payload. All right, cool. So this way our new uh, notes array will be an array that contains um, all the notes except for that specific uh, note that we actually clicked on. So that will handle that. And let's see here. So now that we have that, we'll return an object, whoops. And then we'll spread out the state. And what we're going to update in the state will be the actual notes array. And then we'll just set that to deleted notes. Since that new array will be our new um, array of notes that does not contain the note that we want deleted. So that looks good. We can save that. Okay, I think we're good to go. Let's go back and see what we have. So do homework. We want to uh, delete that. All right, cool, deleted. Uh, let's also open our console since we are console.logging the object as well. So right now we have two notes there. We'll delete it and check our new uh, state here. And it looks like it works. So our state now has been updated correctly. So that looks good. All right, so I think I'll stop uh, here for this video and uh, I think this is a good stopping point. Uh, in the next video, what I'll do is I'll set up the um, adding of the note here. So we'll set up the state and all the other uh, methods that are involved with adding a note. So if you guys enjoyed this uh, video and enjoyed this content, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.